This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Barb LaSalle with me. You are the artistic director with the Kempfell Youth Musical Theatre Company. It's been going on since 2002. Yes, that's right. Thank you very much for joining us today. I, that, that's amazing. 2002, I, I, there's a bit of math. 20 years you've been doing this. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. I remember going to your first play. It was Oklahoma. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. So yeah. Th let's talk a little bit about the history of the theater group. Sure. Um, well, I mean, I started it because my daughter was very interested in theater. And I was driving her everywhere. I was driving to Ottawa, to Brockville, to doing all of these uh, and waiting, you know, I would, I would take her to rehearsals and then I would wait. And I, you know, I said to myself, there's, there's got to be more kids in Kentville that want to do this. So we had an audition and next thing we know, we're 20 years in and I've had lots of good shows, lots of, and lots of fun. And I mean, when you started in 2002, I remember going to see Oklahoma and it was over in the high school in the, in the, yeah. in the gym there in the theater. And now yeah. we've got a wonderful theater of our own in in, uh, yes. in Kempfell as well too. So that's got yeah. to make a big difference too to be able to. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, I mean, it's grown. Everything has grown. I mean, the first show that we did, we had paper sets and a, a paper house and paper tree that fell down and you know, like all sorts of, you know, just kind of you know, um, put together. You know, everything was borrowed and we did the best we could, but we had no money. And then uh, now we've we've got uh, a good team. We've got an excellent team behind us, um, and people that have been with us for years. So we we know each other. We know how we work. We know what we're good at. I've got a fantastic producer who um, it just enables me to be the creative mind, you know. And I've got a great creative team, a great musical director. And Philip Kanaka and a, and a choreographer Laura Anderson, so just amazing um, that when you've got a team there that that knows what they're doing, you can just kind of let them go and do it, and it and it, it feels great. Yeah. Yeah, and and well, you know, like you were saying, better shows. And, and mm, like you were saying, you you don't have to travel. <clears throat> There's people in Kempel yes. that are interested in this, and it's a wonderful opportunity for our youth. Yes. And you know, there's not that mindset of, oh my goodness, I have to take them all the way to Ottawa, I have to wait in the parking lot, I have to take them to Brockville, I have to take them to Kingston. Yeah. And we have it right here. We have it right here. Exactly. And so exactly. often when it's a local thing like that too, you get par parental involvement as well. Yes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There has to be a lot of support from the parents' side of things. You know. Absolutely. A lot of support. From so, the community too. And, and, and you do, you do really, you know, I, I, we mean, do. I I've known yeah. your, your, your uh, shows have been sold out quite often. Yes. And we put on eight, like normally we put on eight shows this, this time around, we're going to only put on seven, but it's only because we couldn't get the last date that we wanted. Um, so we're, uh, we normally put on eight shows plus four school shows. So that's 12 shows in a community the size of Kempville. <clears throat> that's a, that's a really good, um, you know, number of shows for these kids to, to act in and, and be a part of. And uh, for for people that come from all over, we were very, very grateful. Absolutely. So the one you're working on right now is Matilda. The last yes. one before this one was the Newsies, and that was so yes. popular too. That sold out. Like, that was an amazing show. Yes, in that, was, too. that was a fantastic show. Yeah, and I mean, I yeah. see from the smile on your face, it was fun. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It was fun, yes. <laughs> it's great fun, you know. It's great fun to, to take it from a script on, you know, a page, you know, and then make, tell the story to the best of your ability, right? Right. It's just, it's just great fun. And it's, it's great for the kids to, to be a part of that, you know, the first read through and then seeing how everything sort of comes together and, and having ideas and sharing those ideas. And yeah, it's, it's a real family, at, you know, at the end of the day. And we are blessed. We've got some talented youth too. I mean, they oh, get up absolutely. there so professional. My goodness, so yes. professional at so, such a young age. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. right. That's right. So we're working on Matilda now, and you're, you've got to call out yes. for auditions. Yes. Yes, we have. We've uh, we've started taking phone calls, and uh, I think we've um, the person that sort of developed how we do this. I don't ask me how. I'm not so sure, but it's all online, um, and I think we've had. A couple of days ago, we had like 3,200 views, 
um, just from people going and, and checking things out. And I don't know how many auditions we have people signed up so far, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. We usually have a, a pretty good turnout, you know, kids coming out to audition. Do you have a lot of return uh, youth come out again or? We do um, normally when we don't have a two year break. <laughs> yes. But um, yeah, normally there's, um, you know, they grow up through, they, they start coming out. We have a camp, we run camps in the summer too. So they come actually, a lot of them come from the camps and, um, and then in grade seven, they can, they can audition. So sometimes we get kids from grade seven all the way through to, it goes to 19 years of age. So they can come through and, and uh, uh, be, be involved for years and years. And it's great. So you get, you get a lot of returns and you get a lot of new people coming in off of the end and dropping off on the other end. And I mean, so. you've been doing this since 2002 as well too. So you must see some of the youth from back then move on and, and continue in this field well, some sometimes yeah yeah sometimes it's a very difficult field to get to break into like it, it truly is and um you know i don't think any of us take ourselves that seriously you know i mean i've taken some theater courses and i've but i wouldn't call myself you know really really educated in in theater or anything like that i've, I've gained a lot of knowledge over the years but um, I, you know, I think that the goal of it is um, to get the kids out there, to to get them involved in something that's bigger than themselves, to get them involved with something um, that they can see the start, the middle, and the end of, and then feel very proud that they're that they're telling this story and bringing it to their community and being part of something. That's that's nice. It's absolutely, absolutely. So saying that too, when you said the start, the middle, and the end, it's a commitment. Yeah. When it is a, to be, a yes. huge commitment. Yes, it's a huge commitment. And, uh, you know, we have a, a schedule drawn up right at the very beginning. So when they come for auditions, they have to be able to, to look at that and say, I can commit to this. This is, this is not something we don't, we don't get to put on great shows by, you know, kids just coming when they feel like it. The, the parents and the kids have to be very, very committed um, to to the organization, to the show, to the story, and uh, to their community, you know, because it's all hand in hand. And, you know, we're very proud of our reputation. We're proud of the shows that we put on. The show must go think, on, for sure. <laughs> and I think the kids are really, really proud of the caliber of shows that, that get put on. I, so. I know, like myself, like looking at, at like Newsies, that was so professionally done. I felt like I was mm -hmm. at the Ottawa National Arts Center. Like it was, oh, wow, it was in Temple, you know, it was amazing, yeah. amazing how you. Oh, there, and these are these are your kids. Yeah. These are your kids that are out there, and they're just giving their all. They Absolutely. are putting their heart, ripping it out of their chest, and putting it on a platter right in front of you. And you know, like yeah. it's it takes a lot of courage to do that, Eva so much respect for these young people absolutely absolutely so uh, so uh to uh do an audition how do they do that like what does that process look like um well the first thing that they have to do is they have to present um it's a private audition so it's them in front of a casting team and they present a musical number a music and they we have somebody like the, our musical director can play um anything that they they give him so uh, yeah, they present a, a musical number that's um, yeah, it's it's usually we recommend them do a musical theater number, and not a pop song, so that they can truly show off their acting skills, their you know their um, musical skills and that sort of thing. Um, once they do that, um, then we'll have them read a mon monologue, and the monologues are online. Uh, on our website for them to download and practice. And uh, that that's what entails the private audition. Then we uh, we confer for a little bit. And if if we feel, um, you know, that they're uh, able to continue, we'll ask them to come back for a callback. Um, and then in the callbacks, uh, a couple of days later, we get them all back and we put them through their paces. So they'll learn a, a dance number from the show they'll have to present that to the casting team. They'll also do um, 
uh, reading, uh, practicing with me and practicing with somebody else probably and trying to to have a little bit of a, a group, um, like a group number, like a group scene. And then um, they'll do a little bit of musical uh, harmonizing and and singing as a group with the musical director. And then at the end of that, we take, <laughs> they present it all, we take notes, we, and then we, we, the kids leave and we go and confer and then we cast the show. Excellent, excellent. So this is open to youth in grade seven to 19 years old? That's right. That's right. So to, to be able to uh, get an addition, they apply online? Yes. Okay. Go to our website. Everything's there. Everything's there. And the auditions are the end of September. So I've got down uh, September 29th, yeah. which is a Thursday, on yeah. until Saturday. And then the callbacks are on the Sunday on October 2nd. That's right. So you got yeah. a busy couple of days. We do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. live and breathe auditions for that week. Yeah. How many yeah. do you think would usually un go through? On average, um, it depends on the show. Mm -hmm. I think this one will probably get around 60, 65 kids coming out. Um, some shows we've had more, some shows we've had less. So, um, yeah, I would say 55 to 60 would probably be our average. Okay, so when people do, this is just a matter of interest, I just thought of it. Do people come out wanting the lead roles or do they come in saying, I'd like to do so-and-so's part if they know? It varies, well? again, it varies. Um, I mean. I joke with the kids that everybody wants the lead, mm -hmm. you know, and of course only one person can get the lead. And there's lots of good characters uh, in the show. Um, but a lot of people are, are quite content too. They, they, they want to be in the chorus or they want to be, um, they're just starting out so they mm -hmm. don't have the confidence to actually, you know, so they're more comfortable in with, with the group, right? Excellent, excellent. So, yeah, a lot of people want the lead for sure or want a lead. All yeah. Right. All right. So that's uh, the additions for the the play uh, Matilda, the musical, is going to be playing. Mm -hmm. And what I did write that down. When are you hoping? April fourteenth to the thirtieth till next year. But it yeah. takes a while to to get this organized and rehearsals and everything too. So. Oh, absolutely. 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 Yeah. And you've got the Christmas yeah. holidays right in the middle of all that mm -hmm. too. So yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. got the Chris Christmas. We've got March break. We've got a whole bunch of things that. And that time will fly. It'll be here before you know it. <laughs> Absolutely. It goes right. really quickly. So I wrote down your, your website, I believe it's www.kymtc.org backslash audition. So it's the, the Kempfel yeah. Youth Musical Theatre Group, uh, company, sorry. Uh, you yeah. can go to their website and get the information you need. And uh, if you're interested in, in auditioning for Matilda, that's where to start out with. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Well, again, with me today, Barb LaSalle, you are the artistic director of the Kempfel Youth Musical Theatre Company. Been around for 20 years. And that's, yeah, 20 years this year. So uh, happy right. anniversary. Yep. And thank you very much for joining us, Barb, all the way from Kempfel today.